Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in again. This will be a short video about upgrading the VMware log inside. Um, not much to it I think. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, you have to log in of course to your uh, home page, your dashboard. And there you will see the dashboard items you will have installed or configured. So um, what you sh do first, no. uh, I updated my content packs here in the marketplace if you have other. If there are any updates, just update them all. I am at version uh, 3.3.1 and the 4.5 login site version is out. So I'm going to try 3.3 to a 4.5. I don't know if it's gonna work if you have to do another step. So let's go to administration. And you see a cluster here. I only have one. If you have multiple, you have multiple uh, login site servers. And here you can upgrade the cluster. Oh, for I forgot, of course, you have to download the package first. So the PAK package, there's an upgrade package. If you want to deploy a new one, it's the OVA package. This is the agent for Windows. You don't need it right now. So let's go upgrade cluster. Let's see. Uh, this one. Then it comes to where you're sure you want to upgrade and let's go and upgrade and then it will upload the package. This will take a few minutes so uh, I'm gonna let it run and see what happens. Ah, okay, sorry. So you have to accept the license and now upgrade is in progress. Do not refresh or leave this page. So we're gonna leave this running okay that took a very long time don't know why maybe it's okay um, it's unconfirmed my upgrade so uh, there's a problem confirming uh, please refresh the page uh, the server is running if not restart the virtual appliance okay so let's go ahead and refresh don't think it's running no I don't think it's running so let me just reboot that virtual appliance so after rebooting the uh, machine the virtual appliance and you got my login screen again so let's see if my upgrade worked or not okay that's taking a while now that looks about the same and I'm still on 331 so I'll probably have to upgrade to a lower version first and then to 4.5 so it, it's too much of a bigger step I think. So let's see, um, I'm gonna upgrade to uh, 4.0 first. I downloaded that package already here and see if that works. 3.3 to 4.0 and then I'm gonna try to 4.5 if it doesn't work then I'm gonna try 4.3 so let's see what that does okay so it didn't work either um, so now I'm gonna try 3.3 upgrade to the 3.6 first so I'm downloading that right now and see if that works 
so let me just get that download here just a second okay let's go back to the administration cluster uh, upgrade cluster if this doesn't work I have no idea then I'll have to redeploy the uh, the appliance I think uploading package uh, okay let's scroll down for a minute for the complete okay upgrade in progress again 3.3 to 3.6 now okay success so you can't upgrade from 3.3 to 3 points uh, to 4.5 directly not to 4 not to 4.3 so you have to go through every update I think to get to 4.5 let's see yeah so let's try the 4 now upgrade that should work 3.6 to 4 it was the next version if I've been reading correctly uploading package okay now scroll down again for it to be thorough okay then we'll see what this does okay so that's to the 4.0 that's fine also let's see things are changing here yeah another layout view let's see I'm gonna upgrade maybe some uh, not agents the the extensions maybe let's just see that's not here I think it's content packs sorry here are there any updates before we continue nope so let's go and upgrade to 4.3 is the next one upgrade uploading the uh, package again so it's just the same step over and over you have to do 3.6 first and a 4.0 4.3 then eventually 4.5 so let's accept the warranty uh, the uh, agreement again sorry about that and there it goes again so that's for the 4.3 also successful let's do the last one and then we should be on the latest version 4.5 let's go upgrade uploading package and then later the agreement accept the agreement again okay this time it takes a while for some reason Is there a reason? There we go. Let's scroll down again to be sure. Okay, and here we go again. So let it run for a minute or five, ten. And there we go. The upgrade successful also for the 4.5. Now, uh, maybe you have to do something about the license, I'm not sure, because I had 3.6, it still sees the correct license, so okay.
Okay, this looks a lot different. Uh, I probably have to learn again all the all the stuff, all the new metrics and everything. Does it see my V sun already? Probably not. No. Why not? Anyway. That's uh, how you upgrade to the 4.5 if you're running a really, really old uh, version of Log Insights. Okay, thank you for watching.